for this week's session with the Putnam County District Library, the Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This week and next week, we're going to look at some ways to use different formulas in Excel. This week, we're going to look at three different formulas and just do a real brief overview of how to use those. So the first one we're going to look at is creating an average in Excel. So what I have here is I have my Excel sheet pulled up and I am simply going to put some numbers going down the column. So if I just simply type in some numbers going down on the page here, as I'm typing these numbers in, then when I get down here, um, I'll wait until I get down here to about row nine here, going across. And to simply add and create what the average would be of those numbers that you see there is you use the equal sign and then you will type in the word average. Notice it will automatically start to pop up as one of the functions. It will automatically, if you do the drop down and pick that, it will put the bracket there in for you. And what you'll need to do is you need to go to the top of wherever you are looking at averaging from. So in this case, I am at B2 and I'm going to go down to B7. So I will highlight all of that. Notice what happens is, is it is filled it in down here below. I'm going to close my bracket here. So I, the uh, bracket above the zero on my keyboard. And when I hit return, what you are going to see is what the average of those numbers are. Now, another way you can do average is it's just real quick. You're in an Excel sheet and you want to find the average um, of just say two, maybe three numbers. You can simply, again, type the equal sign. Again, type average. That is selected. Now let's just say, I want to find the number, the average between 100 and 200. Be simple math there. But we'll, just for example's sake, close that bracket, hit return, and notice it automatically gives me the average. We can do the same thing, three numbers. Again, the equal sign, I'm going to type in average, and then in this case, I'm going to pick the number 50, comma, let's do uh, 75, and 100. Again, close my bracket, hit the return key, and obviously my average between 50, 75, and 100 is 75. So that is just one, um, <clears throat> one, another way that you could find the average if you have numbers that you just quickly want to type into a cell. The next thing we're going to look at is sum. So I'm going to delete this out here where I put this information in. I'm going to leave my numbers and let's just look here. Let's change this over to sum. We're looking for the sum. So the easiest way to go about finding that is I go down here to uh, my open um, row and column, and I am going to type in equals again, and I'm going to type the word sum. And again, notice the word pops up automatically for me as one of my functions. I can simply the same thing, go up to the top, highlight, highlight down below, close my bracket, and now I have the sum of those numbers. If I, again, the same way that we had done with average, you could do a sum. So I could simply click here, type in equals sum, and I'm going to create my bracket here, and I am going to just quickly add some numbers. So if I were to say 56, comma, 65, and comma, let's do 43. Close my bracket. And real quickly, it just will add those numbers. So those are, um, again, another way that you can do sum. There's two different ways. If you have a long list or if you just have a couple numbers, you want to really quickly do a sum. And then the last thing we're going to look at today is the sum if. So I've got another sheet here I'm going to pull up where I had already started. So what I did is I got some if here. 
um, is the example when I have, just for example's sake, um, I'm just looking at supplies. Say these are the pencils, erasers, what the back pens, so forth that we have in our uh, make-believe company. And I have the numbers of those quantities. So I'm maybe looking to see if I would need to order more or something. I want to know the total. But I actually have items that are listed more than once. If you notice, the black pens are listed twice. They're listed in row four and they're listed in row nine. So what I'm going to do, and again, this is for example's sake, because typically, um, right, in this situation, you would just quit, real quickly be able to look at 80 and plus 35 and know the answer. But if you had numerous um, um, items listed that you wanted to not have to t tally all of those up, what you would do is you are looking at your supply type here. And I am going to, first of all, um, I'm going to sum, I'm just like we did before, let's do a sum first of all. So I've got my equal sign, I'm going to type in sum, and I'm going to make my bracket, and I'm going to pick from here where my numbers start down to 25, close my bracket, and oops, got to put a closed bracket. Obviously it doesn't know what to do here. I close, close my bracket, pick, oh, I see what I did. I typed the zero as I was hitting return. So I hit return. Now I have a sum. That's a sum of everything. So that was my first thing to get a sum. But I want to know exactly how many black, just black pins. So that would be a sum if. So to do a sum if, same concept, equal sign. I'm going to type in sum if. Notice that is also one of my choices that pops up. Notice now I've got my bracket. So first thing I need to know is I need to know my supplies. So I'm going to select that column and select and go and and select all the way down. Notice I've got my the um, colon there in between. Now I am going to do my com um, comma and I am going to then at that point I'm going to select the column that has black pen typed in because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the number of black pens. Notice that changed to B13. Again, I'm going to put a comma after that and now I'm going to pick the column of where my item totals are at. And again, select the top, go down to the bottom. So I'm picking now, I'm picking C through nine. And then I'm going to close my bracket and I'm going to hit return. So what I have done now is it has my black pins, I have 80 in the row nine, and I have 35 in the row, or I should say, I have 80 in row four, I have 35 in row nine. So now I have a total of 115. So that's how you would do a sum if when you are looking to be able to total the number of items that you might have if they're um, listed various times throughout your document. That is the three tips that we looked at this week. So it would be average, sum, and sum if. Hope everyone has a good week and I'll see you next week for more tips on how to use formulas in Excel.